Your geometry book puts a major emphasis on problem solving, and there's a little trick that comes up a couple of times throughout this chapter. I wanted to show you one example of this. Your book will sometimes have you use the area as a tool to find other missing dimensions. Okay? Now you're probably thinking, what is he talking about? Well, here's an example. Okay? I actually kind of alluded to this in my uh, triangle area video. Um, let's say that I had a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. Okay, it's a, a well-known triangle. And let's say that you wanted to find the altitude that is drawn to the base that has a length of 13. Okay, and again, this triangle has different altitudes drawn to different bases, but that is one of its altitudes. Okay, on the surface, yeah, I don't know that this is any kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle or 45, 45, 90 or anything like that. Maybe you could wrangle something out with trig, but again, we don't have any angle measures, so that's probably not super likely. But check this out. Even though the problem didn't ask me to find the area, it's a right triangle. I should be able to find the area, okay? I know the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. I'm gonna switch this triangle around so I've got a base and I've got a height, okay? So the area of this triangle is half the base, which is 12, times the height, which is five, okay? So half of 12 is six, six times five is 30, okay? That's the area of the triangle. So you're sitting there thinking, so what? Who cares? Here's why you should care. The area doesn't change when I move the triangle. Okay? So this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. It has an area of 30. This is still a 5, 12, 13 triangle. It still has an area of 30. Okay? The area doesn't change if I use a different base and height. All right? So I know that for any base and the height that goes with it, the area is going to be half the base times the height. Well, I know the area is supposed to be 30. I can fill that in, okay? I want the base here to be 13. I can fill that in, okay? I just have to figure out what does that height have to be so that I take half of 13 and multiply it by the height and get 30, okay? Just solve the equation, all right? Uh, half of 13 is 6.5. You might deal with it that way. I don't love dealing with fractions in these problems. Uh, so I would probably double both sides of the equation. I take half of something, I can undo it by doubling it, okay? But it's an equation, so I have to double the other side as well. Um, I'll get 60 is equal to 13H, okay? H is being divided, uh, multiplied by 13. I'm going to divide by 13, okay? And so H is going to be 60 thirteenths, okay? Um, it's a little bit less than 5, I think. Um, but anyway, it's a fractional answer, it's an ugly answer, but if you took half a base of 13 and you multiplied it by a height of 60 thirteenths, you would in fact get an area of 30, all right? So just a little strategy there. Sometimes if you can find the area using a different pair of sides and altitudes, you might be able to use that same area to find some missing dimension using a different base and a different altitude. Kind of a neat trick, and it is one that you're going to see a couple times throughout this chapter. So be on the lookout for it.